Now looking at y equals sine of x from x equals negative pi to x equals pi. So let's draw that. Well, first of all, we're using four trapezoids. So let's draw this and label in our four trapezoids. Here's our y, here's our x. So then sine looks like this. And here is our negative pi, our pi. So using four, four trapezoids, we'll have these four, two, three, four. So now they all look like triangles, which is perfectly fine. And also, by just looking at this graph, we can tell that the area is going to equal 0 because here's our positive a, here's our negative a. When we add them together, we get 0. But let's go ahead and carry out the trapezoid rule uh, to see what happens. So b minus a over n equals pi minus negative pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So then our area will equal 1 half pi over 2, which we got from here, times 0 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 0. And what we did here was just simply plug these terms Uh, into the original equation with our corresponding uh, x values. So here we have negative pi over 2, pi over 2. And simplifying this, we get 1 half pi over 2. Negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So 0 multiply anything is 0. So we were right by just looking at it graphically. Um, but the trapezoid rule still works. And it doesn't matter if they look like a triangle. Um, as long as we follow this formula, uh, nothing should be of a surprise. So thanks for watching educator.com, the trapezoid rule section. We will see you next time.